Just transfer this hole over using the transfer punch. I'll start up and you will see there that it's looking pretty good. It's within a half a thou. And you can see here just how out of position that hole there is on the boss. And yet on this boss it's pretty much central. So I'm pretty happy with things like that. So I'll now continue. There you can see the drill is just about a sixteenth of an inch above the hole. I've got to bring that down a little bit manually using the jug. And I've got to call that zero. And I will use the jog controller just in the Z to come down and drill one inch. Better turn some coolant on here. It likes it when you're drilling. And here we go. And that should do it. showing about 0.88, it's probably about 0.875 or 7 eighths of an inch deep so that's deep enough for me so we'll come back out using the jog controller and that's that one. Okay again using just the jog controller I'm going to start the tap off, I've got the compression tension tapping head here so I can actually land this off on the top just that little bit get a bit of weight onto it and make it uh, get a start, there we go and there we are, it's started it's going into the, the work quite well it doesn't take much with a bean alloy it's uh, pretty pretty good, I'll just take it down a bit more Once you get three or four revolutions, the tap's got enough hold that it'll, well it's sitting vertical, that's the main thing for me. Okay, well what I'm doing now is just centering up on this hole in the alternator here, using the Hymer cent Centro and the Tomac sh Jog Shuttle or whatever it's called. Let's see, try the X plane first, see what happens when I definitely get worse or go the other way. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Going back up so about there, going to the Y axis and try there some more. Coming down. And eventually you get pretty close. Now we've got it going away again. So about there, go to the X, X axis again and try. That's increasing, so go the other way. Getting better. That was pretty close. And one more try on the Y axis. Over there and another bit on the X. Oh, I'm going to stop there because I'm wasting film, but that's about as close as I can get it. it that is 0 0.01 of a millimeter, so that's uh, one hundredth of a millimeter which is where well, there's the alternator on the three mount studs 
it looks okay to me. The proof will be when I put this back together with the crankshaft in it and the rotor. We'll see what other oh, dummy rotor. The dummy rotor is probably 30 so larger than the than the actual rotor, and that's why I made it so that even if this is a little bit awkward and tight at the moment, when you go to fit the the real uh, rotor, there's no contact between the magnets and uh, or the the soft iron core on the magnets. Okay. Well there you see the alternator on the crankcase or fitted to the uh, crankcases with the uh, dummy rotor in. Uh, it, it, I had to tap it in lightly with the uh, leather mallet but basically it's fine. Uh, by the time you take the bit of clearance that's on the actual thing in there shouldn't be any problem with that. It should go straight on without any messing around. That's good. I'm quite pleased with that. I don't know whether the shafts actually turn that easily or not, but yeah, they do. You can still turn the shaft by hand. Obviously the rotor doesn't run because it's not fixed onto the shaft, but it's a very close fit. So the next thing is just to try this on, make sure it fits, which I'm sure it will. And there we go. These two other two bolts that were causing me all the the problems of fitting this, it's looking pretty good and in fact it's a really good fit. Um, well we'll try all the bolts in. Well there we go, that's the primary chain case on and I had a, I had a not a, a terrifically hard job but I had to move this round quite, uh, you know, push it against the two studs here so it needs maybe these need a little bit of tapping over one that way and one that way but generally it wasn't too difficult to get on I mean you know uh, and again once the rotor the correct rotor is fitted I think that won't be a problem because you you know there's a lot of clearance of well there should be a reasonable amount of clearance but it looks okay to me it's looking fine engines coming along really well there's, I've got all of this side done. I need to concentrate next. We'll be concentrating on this area, get the shafts in here and get the bearings in so we can finish off. There's still a little bit of machine to do there, just a tiny skimp to come off there and I believe a bolt goes through here. What on earth for? I don't know, a stud or a bolt. Really don't know why would you want something there. However, I suppose it does give support to the rear of the chain case. And that's, that's it really, that's another session finished.